Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna review our Gosney doll. Oh, sure, a nice cameo. Okay, we've had the Gosney dome pizza oven for about six months. And in this video, I get to review it for you. Uh, we're gonna discuss the price, the things we like, the things we don't like, the different accessories that we have, uh, the accessories that we believe are a must have, and the accessories we believe you can skip on. I'll make sure to include all the links for all the uh, products and accessories that we have in the description. Also, in this video, we're gonna make two pizzas. One is gonna be sourdough pizza made by us, and the second pizza is gonna be from dough purchased from the store. <clears throat> the question is, is the Gosney Dome still worth it in 2024. When we purchased the Gosney Dome, we were looking at the rock box, we were looking at the Unicaro, and also the Solo Pie. And actually, we almost bought the Solo Pie. It just seemed very analog. Um, it didn't have a lot of the features that the Gosney have, and it just, the Gosney seemed like a better all around product. That's the reason why we decided to spend a little extra to get this as opposed to the uh, Solo Pie. We were also considering the new age pizza oven that would match this entire setup, but it required a, a separate cabinet. I feel like it was making my kitchen too large or too long. And I like that the Gosney is portable, even though I don't move it, I could if I need to. All right, let's get a little closer. The first thing that comes to mind is that this thing looks great. I believe that it integrates well with the kitchen, even though it's not a built-in. It's got a digital gauge with thermometers. And I'll show you the thermometers that go in there later. It's got this area where you can infuse moisture, uh, if you're baking bread or something along those lines. So this is where the flame comes out of. Uh, as you can see, it's quite dirty, and it's very normal for a pizza oven to look this way after a while. Then on this side, you have this hole, and this is for you to move your ashes to this ashtray here that you can pull out. Accessory time. Starting with the cover for $99, I believe this is 100% worth it. There is a cover that is cheaper that only covers the Gosney dome, which is good if you have it on a counter. But if you have the actual stand that has real wood in it, I definitely recommend having this. It's great. And we had it out all winter. Still looks great. Turning peel. For $79, I, I guess it's worth it because we use it all the time. I haven't really looked at prices for other, you know, turning peels. And this one has the right length. So definitely worth the $79. The pizza peel at $100. I love that it's aluminum, so it's actually very light. It's at $100, it's definitely worth it. We use this all the time. At $49, the tray, 100% worth it. The tray is a bit steep in price, but we use them all the time. We have about four of them and they're really good to cut the pizza on if you're using the rocker. Which takes me to the next accessory, the pizza rocker. It's aesthetically very good looking. I believe this, this thing is about $39. I think it's worth it. It's unique looking, the aesthetics are right. So definitely worth the money. These thermometers we have never used, but they are included, surprisingly enough, and they plug in right on the Gosney. The moisture injector we have never used. I don't know if we ever will. So I wouldn't buy this. The um, wood rack, <laughs> considering the fact that we eventually will quote unquote make wood fire pizza, probably worth it. The pizza mesh, I bought this on Amazon, two for $14. As you guys can see, this will let your pizza rest, allowing your crust to stay crunchy. At $14 for two, definitely worth it. The propane tank cover. At $25.99 on Amazon, this tank cover is 100% worth it. It really helps the aesthetics of the entire setup. You definitely don't wanna see an ugly gas tank in your outdoor kitchen if you can help it. And so let me show you around. Excuse the flower and the mess here, but yeah, it's very easy to access, you know, clockwise to close, to close, counterclockwise to open the tank. So it's very, very, very easy to access. And whenever I have to change it, these things come up so i just take these things off and i would uh, slide it up 
definitely a great purchase that I recommend. All right, let's make a pizza. First thing you wanna do is get it started here. You'll see a flame in the back. And that's when you know you're good to go. Initially though, you wanna have it on low so you can um, warm it up gradually and without cracking the stone. But then as you go, you can start increasing it once it gets warmer. I like to cook around 720 to 800 degrees. And you would definitely wanna keep track of the uh, temperature of the stone. Um, and I like to have the, the stone definitely around 700 degrees also. And that's where this comes in handy. This is how you're gonna gauge the temperature of the stone. Uh, you're gonna find that the closer to the fire, you know, the higher the reading you're gonna get. And uh, so I like to have on the opposite side of the fire around 700 degrees. This is the dough I'm gonna be using today that I get from the store near me here. As you guys can see, it is 453 grams. I usually split this in two. So you have pizzas that are around 226 grams each. I let it rest. I mean, it is frozen, right? So it take, takes a while, you know, but you definitely want to let it rest. Oh, all right. And after several hours of resting this dough, this is what it looks like. All right, pizza number one. At this point, the Gosney is seven, sitting at 772 degrees, which is exactly where I like to be. I'm gonna lower the temperature a little bit and gonna launch this pizza. Let's see the bottom. Bottom is looking pretty good. All right, looks pretty good. Let's cut it. Right, we are at 773 degrees Fahrenheit, ready to make the sourdough pizza. Got all the ingredients ready here. So the oven is sitting at 790 degrees. Let's increase the temperature a little bit because I know the stone is really hot at this point. You don't want to just burn the bottom. All right. Let's drizzle some spicy honey. Now, let's give it a try. I didn't make this sourdough, okay? The wife made it. Um, so, some of these are so little, they almost look like breadsticks. But, let's see. All right, let's check out the, the cook. This is very good. The sourdough is great. The honey contrasting with the pepperoni. Also great, there's just a lot of crust, but that's basically a, probably because of my technique. But the pizza overall is great. Let's talk about the things I like about this uh, Gosney Dome. I like the gas consumption. Um, you get about 18 hours out of a 20 pound propane tank. Rated to heat up to 950 degrees. 
that is enough heat for almost any kind of pizza and then some actually a lot of pizza requires less heat so that's a plus i like the look i think aesthetically it's really good i like that the stand is really well made with real wood so that's another plus i like the size we decided to get the stand because we value our counter space uh, if we didn't have the stand it could easily sit on top of, of our counter with no problem i like that it can do both wood and propane even though we haven't really cooked with wood I mean, it's cool that it can handle that. I like the versatility. We have already made bacon in this. We have tried making steak on a cast iron pan. You can make bread, even though we haven't made bread. I like that there is an accessory you can use to cover this. And that's what you would use for making bread and also for smoking meats. I like that it has an exhaust. And as a matter of fact, you can actually get a longer pipe. And I've seen people even putting them inside food trucks, just venting to the roof. Now let's talk about what I don't like. I don't like that every accessory that I own is sold separately. So even though I bought this Gosney dome for $2,000, by the time I got the stand, the peels, the thermometer, once I got all the other accessories, you're looking at about $3,000. Final thoughts. The final thoughts is, or I guess the final point here is that I may not be the best person to give you a review because if I decide to review something, it's usually because I like it. We've had this Gosney Dome for six months and um, it's my favorite item in this entire outdoor kitchen. If I had to give it all up, this is the item I would keep because you can cook, you can smoke, you can make pizza, you can bake. So, and it looks great. For me, it's a recommendation. I recommend it. If you need the versatility, the Gosney Dome is the oven to buy. If you don't need to cook, or do any of those things, just pizza, and you like the Gosney brand, I definitely recommend that you look into the Arc uh, you can make the same size pizzas you know doesn't support wood so it would be gas only which in the six months we've had this that's all we've done so i mean it seems like it could have also worked for us and it doesn't have this pipe that you can vent to a roof or to a ceiling so if you are not interested in wood fire pizza and you have an outdoor space you know with ventilation and don't need this then the arc at sale is 800 i think it's 799 I own the dome, I wouldn't look back. I know eventually we will make wood fire pizza. For us, this is a keeper. Guys, if you found this video helpful, interesting, fun, or funny, please give me a like, and also please consider subscribing. Thank you. If you like what you see, this is a good moment to pause the video and appreciate because for most of the remaining of the video, I'm gonna be behind the camera. <laughs>